Let's talk about LoRa's in AI image generation. They are very important because they give you a lot more control over what you can create and also a lot more variety of the things you can do with the AI. To follow my workshop, you can download my workflow on OpenArt. You see here, there's a download button and above that, you have a green button that says launch workflow where you can actually run my workflow in the cloud for free. I built a simple workflow for you, text to image, to show you how to integrate LoRa's. We're also gonna talk in this video about clip skip a little bit. Now first, Let's look at different kind of LoRa's you can find. On Civit AI, you can find hundreds of different LoRa's. For example, for different kind of dressing styles you can find out there. Now, what we can see here is also when you scroll down, the result you get depends a lot on the model you're using, depends a lot on the settings and the prompt you're using. So one of the images here looks like a digital painting, while another image can look like more of a photography or even a 3D style. So there's a lot of variety in here. And I would always suggest to you to look down here in the information about the LoRa where it gives you some information how to use that. So for example, here we have a little bit of a text about the CFG scale, and we also have a text about the weight of the LoRa that is supposed to be used. Now here we have another LoRa, it's called add more details. And as you can see here, when we are using the LoRa, it is adding more details to our AI image output. So it can push the model into different results, giving you more or less details in your image. This can be very beneficial. Here is another one that has more of an anime style in here. Pretty cool. And can give you also more of a specific anime style in that case. Here we have, for example, another one from the video game Near Automata. And you can see also here, we get some results that are fitting to that style. So that is pretty cool that you can do all of that with the LoRa. Other things you can do, for example, to get better skin. This can also be very helpful for models that have the style and the results you want, but are not so good with the skin details. So you can apply a LoRa for that to get better skin details with the same model that you like to work with. And another thing you can do here is, for example, the likeness of people. Now you can also train, of course, the LoRa's on your own photos to train it on your own likeness or from your friends or family, things like that. Okay. So all of that is going to be downloaded, of course, as a file. Allura is a pretty small file, and this goes into the models folder and in there into the LoRa's folder. So that is pretty straightforward. Let's go back to ComfUI and have a quick look here at our workflow. Now, as always, as in the other videos, I have here basic built up. So we have here our checkpoint that is being loaded. And then we have here our positive and the negative prompt, the empty latent, the case sampler, VAE decoder, and the preview of the image. And then down here also the VAE loader. So far, nothing special, just a normal text to image workflow. So let's scroll in here. And as you can see here, we have a LoRa here. So this is a node for one specific LoRa. You can see in this case, I can decide what kind of LoRa I want to use, and I can decide the strength for the model. We have an output here for model and also the strength for the clip. So we have an input output of the clip also for both. However, you can also use nodes that can load multiple LoRa's at the same time. So I'm gonna scroll out and we go down here. Here we have a LoRa stack. And as you can see, I can connect another LoRa stack and even another LoRa stack as many as you want together. Now, please don't overdo it with the LoRa's because then the AI model is getting a little bit confused on what you actually want to have, but you can have a healthy amount of different LoRa's in here. Let's say between one and five LoRa's should be okay. And as you can see also in ComfUI, the LoRa is not called in the prompt. The LoRa is called here with these notes. So in this case, with the LoRa stack from CR, which is Comfy Roll, you can switch this LoRa, the specific LoRa on and off, if it's used or not used. And then you also have here the weight for the model and the weight for the clip. So far, everything is super easy. Here you have the choice of the LoRa you want to use. And in this case, as you can see, we can load three different LoRa's into this node. And then of course here we have the output LoRa stack 
goes into CR Apply LoRa Stack. Again, here we have the model and clip input, model and clip output. That, of course, then the clip output goes into our positive and negative prompt. And the model, of course, goes into our K sampler in here. Now, in this case, for the video, I didn't put a second K sampler for upscaling. So this is just the low resolution output of 512 by 768. But that is good enough for us to get a feel on how, what LoRa's are doing. Before we render some sample images, let's look at also the checkpoint model that we are using and the clip skip. As you can see, the clip skip is in between the load checkpoint. Here's the clip out. And then here the clip goes into our LoRa loader, which we are not using at the moment, or our apply LoRa stack. And then goes, of course, into the positive negative prompt. And here I can set my clip skip to either minus one or minus two. In this case, I'm using the model Ghost Mix, which is pretty good for anime style images. And then when we scroll down here again, as you can see here, we find some information about the model, especially down here. You can see, for example, it says high res fix is a must. And then also here for the clip, it says either to use one for the clip skip or to use two, depending on what your style you want to create. For example, if we have another model like Ref Animated, you want to use Clip Skip 2. And of course, then there is other information down here. Now let's go back here to our prompt that we are using. In this case, I'm using a very simplified prompt so it doesn't influence the result too much. I have here a portrait of a beautiful woman standing in a park, cute anime style, and I have ugly deformed and then embedding, bad artist embedding bad hands 5. Now, as you can see inside of ConfUI, the embeddings are called with our prompt window while the LoRa's are loaded with a note. To do our render tests, I have moved the LoRa stack next to our preview image. And this is one of the huge benefits of ConfUI. You can move these notes around and arrange them in a way that is most useful to you. So let's render an image that has none of these LoRa's activated. Let's click here on Q prompt. And there we have already the first image. So let's turn on the Phoenix dress. Now for this, remember what this dress is looking like. Very beautiful dress, very cute, short summer dress. Very, very nice. Let's turn on Phoenix dress and then render the next sample image. And here we have our Phoenix dress, Laura. Now this is more of a close up portrait, but you can see the clothing style changed quite a bit. We have these beautiful golden ornaments here, very different style of the clothing. Now she even has a tiara on her head, a little flower here. Everything is very beautiful. And you can see that this has a very different style than we have seen before. And of course, you can even influence that more into the direction of the LoRa you're using by influencing how you write the prompt to put more information in there of what you expect from the LoRa and the model to create. So let's turn off the Phoenix dress. And now we turn on down here, this anime style promised Neverland. And as you can see here, as a result, we have a different style of anime. It's a little bit more cute and cozy. Very nice, interesting dress also, and looks very beautiful. Let's switch this over to the near anime style that we have seen before from near automata. And as you can see here, again, we have a different style of our anime image. Looks a little bit different from the nose, from the expression. So you can actually get some very nice results with that. Here's another example of that. And you can see how beautiful the results are. Now let's make a combination of the Phoenix dress and the near anime style Laura. And so here you can see we have a combination of both of these styles together where we have this interesting, nice golden ornamented dress and then also the cozy style of the near automata LoRa. So let's change the prompt and go deeper into what the LoRa's are meant to do. So in this case here, the prompt is near anime style anime screen cap Megumin one girl bare shoulders phoenix dress with golden ornaments intricate dress black cape black gloves black hair blush, cape, choker, collarbones, dress, hair between eyes, hat, long sleeves, looking at viewer. And as you can see here, as a result, we get something that is a lot closer to what the LoRa's are meant to do. So it's always good 
to work together with the LoRa's to get a different result for your image and be more specific to what the LoRa actually can do. Now let's also try a different model on this. So instead of ghost mix, let's switch this by clicking here. You can type ref and then ref animated. Let's load that. I'm going to set my clip skip in this case to two and then we're going to render it again. And as you can see here, the result we are getting is quite different because now we are using the same LoRa's, the same prompt, all of the same settings, but with a different model. Now let's change the model again to Epic Realism Natural Sin and see what kind of results we're getting from that. And as you can see here, the result we get looks a lot more like a photo. Now, like I said, this is the base resolution 512 by 768. So the details of the skin are not great. But if we do an upscale, as I showed in my other video, we can get much better quality and have this look like an actual photo. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.